Hi, this is Mike. In this video, I want to talk to you about sales follow-up emails and how to make them really effective for your marketing campaigns. Now, you may have heard from some people saying that email campaigns don't work anymore. Well, that can't be further from the truth. Email campaign is live and well and very, very important to do so if you do it right. And the reason that this video is I want to talk to you about the different elements you need to consider when you're doing an email campaign. Now, the first thing you do, once you have the opt-in, is you need to do indoctrination. The whole idea there is you need to tell them who you are, what you're about, what to expect, and get some of those videos out there where you can have basic introduction, give them some free stuff, some training videos. I, I like to call them a good with, goodwill series. So you basically get them to get to know you a bit better. Okay, make sure these things are all about you. Next thing you want to do is do engagement. Get them engaged. Get them engaged in your email, get them clicking links, visiting your social media channels, whatever it takes to get them to have these micro commitments that they're involved in your emails. Okay, not only does it help you, uh, basically portray yourself in those videos or in those in the content so they get to know you better. But those micro commitments also help develop that relationship between you and the person on the other side. Okay, so that way they get to learn and trust you a bit more. Ascension, when they do buy, when they finally do buy, make sure you actually have things in place. That's where actually having a dynamic funnel in place is really good because if they buy one product, you can move them on to the next stream so they see have more exposure to the next level up. You can always ask for that next sale. Finally, segmentation, depending on how the, your, um, your subscribers are acting within your email series, you want to segment them. Are they opening your emails? Great, move them onto one list. If they're not opening emails after a period of time, then you may want to put them onto more of a quieter list so you're not sending emails all the time. If you don't do proper segmentation, what's going to happen is that if there's very few emails can open up in a particular campaign, you could get blacklisted, or not really blacklisted, but at least marked by certain uh, the Gmail, AOL, whatever else start getting labeled as spam and you have less penetration, less open rates because more of your emails get into the spam bin. Finally, re-engagement. Okay, if they start not acting very much on your email list, don't give up hope. Once in a while you need to do is try different things to reenact them, get them to have more interaction again and bring it back to the list. If after a certain period of time they're not doing anything, put them onto a list where you, you, you maybe you email them very rarely at all, if at all. Okay, so that's where you need to take care of segmentation and then once they've been segmented off to try and re-engage them and bring them back in. Okay, I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, make sure you read the blog and you'll have more details there. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.